Hi again. Here we are to talk about JavaScript and jQuery. And in the last video, you know, I created a simple example that um, uses a form. It detects input from the form, and then it puts the value from the form into this other tag up here, which, you know, just happens to be an H1. So, you know, if we, if I go to the, the page here and I type something into the field, I say, you know, hello world, and then I hit the, uh, the submit button, and it, you know, it says hello world up here. And then what if I typed in foo and bar, and then I hit submit, and you can see it says foo bar, right? Or I can say, you know, apples, and then uh, there now it says apples, right? Um, so that's okay, but maybe we could do a little bit more, like a little, make this a little more dynamic, right? Um, what if, you know, we wanted to add elements to this so that every time I, you know, I typed a name in here, instead of replacing the current name, I wanted to add another name to the list, okay? And there's a lot of different ways you can do this, right? Um, the method that I'm going to take is I'm going to make an array, and then I'm going to add a new item to that array every time you submit the form, and then we'll use my function up here to display all of the items in the array within the tag, okay? So let's do a couple changes here. You know, I, I like this H1 for a single item, but if I have a list of items, you know what? The list tag is probably better. So maybe I'll do a UL here. And then I'll change this from title but I'll, to something else that's a little more descriptive, right? So I'll, I'll call this, you know, how about list, right? And then, you know, we can't have just question marks hanging out inside the UL. But just to show that we're going to put something here, we're going to put li tags in here and maybe make them links, right? So I'll just put a comment in here and I'll say, you know, list items here or something, right? So we know that we're going to fill this in later, okay? So that means I'm going to have to change, you know, my, my code down here from title to list. And actually, remember in the last video, we talked about refactoring our code. And this is where our refactoring actually comes into play again, where it's working for us because now the, the ID name title only appears in one location instead of two. Okay. So we can change this to list and then we're good. Right. Um, I have a little trouble here because I shouldn't be putting just text inside the UL. I should be putting list items. So maybe the message here, if we're going to you know, make a list item, it should have the list item around it, right? But I, I just can't type the HTML into the JavaScript. It has to be quoted like this. And, you know, in JavaScript, if we want to combine, you know, strings together, you know, this is a variable and then this is a string. And if I want to put the two together... I need to use the plus sign, okay? So to combine this string with the message variable, right? We have to have the plus sign in between them. And, you know, if I'm using the list tag in HTML, then I have to have a closing list tag on the other side. And then again, I'll have to use the plus sign and, you know, put this in the quotation marks there, right? So right now this won't list multiple items, but it'll list one item as a as a list, right? So let's give it a try. So I'll save that and then I'll I'll refresh my page. And then you can see it says eat apples, but maybe I want to type in foobar or something, right? And now it says foobar. So that's working, right? Okay. So uh, so that works pretty good, but now I want to save items, right? So how do I do that? Well, at the top of our script, why don't we define a variable? I'll just call it, um, I'll call it, you know, my list. How about that, right? And we'll set it equal to an empty array. And I have another video about some basic JavaScript stuff that talks about the array, too, so you can look at that for more information on this, right? It's just short, but uh, if you had any questions, maybe that might answer them. Um, so, so anyway, so there's my list, and it's empty right now, right? And what I'd like to do is every time you submit the form, right, or maybe every time you call my function, we add a new item to the, to the list, 
and then we display all the items in the list, right, or the array. So uh, let's say my list uh, dot push, and using push you can add an item to the array. Okay, so push adds an item to the end, right? So you know what? Maybe we'll just add the message to the end of the array, okay? And uh, we'll give this a quick test with the console, right? Just so you can see what's going on here, right? You can try this out yourself. If we say my list, you know, if we say console log my list, it'll print out the whole array, right? We'll take a quick look at that, right? Let me refresh the browser. And uh, you can see that the array shows one item with one string, eat apples. And if I type in, you know, um, foobar, now, and I hit return, it prints foobar, and then it shows me two items in the array. I still only see one list item here, right? And that's because we're just printing the single message, the most recent one. And in order to print, to print all of them, we'll have to loop through the array and then print each item or create a list item for each one and then add that to the HTML, you know, through jQuery, right? Okay. So anyway, so it's working, right? Let's type in something else. We'll type in, you know, happy camper. Okay, now I got three items or, you know, hello world, right? So now there's four, okay? So, uh, so our system's kind of working, right? Okay, so, so this works pretty good up until here. Look, we can remove this console log message for now, right? But now we want to print an item into the array using HTML. Now, remember, when we use HTML, it's going to overwrite everything that's inside of here, right? It's going to overwrite it. So if there was something there and then you called, you know, list HTML, then you know, this would replace whatever was there originally. So what I want to do is I want to use this for loop here, right? And I'm going to say for var i in my list. And for each item in my list, I want to, uh, you know, essentially like I want to do this, but this is wrong, okay? Because, like I said, you know, every time we loop, we're going to replace all the items, you know, in or all the text inside HTML with this, this new one, right? So if we test that out, you know, um, we'll see this. We'll see, uh, you know, I'll, I'll type in AAA. And then you see, you know, it doesn't, you know, it just shows the AAA, right? And if I type another item in here like BBB, we'll see the BBB, right? But we don't see a whole list of them, right? So let's let's take a closer look at that, right? What if I type in console.log and then I say, you know, my list bracket i. And actually, you know what I should have done is I should have had this here and it would have been the same, right? But let's watch it very carefully, right? So, so here's our list. We're getting each item out of the list and it's going to print the item to the console, but then it's also going to print the item, you know, to the, to our, our list UL up here, right? So let's save that and we'll refresh it again. Okay, so we got the first item in the array and we see it here. And if I add another item, oh, so now it shows two items, right? And then, and this was the first time we ran the script, so this is really like when we run it the second time we see, you know, it starts here. But I only see one item on the page, right, because it printed this one into the, the UL, and then it overwrote it with the second one. Okay, let's try that again, right? What if I typed in BBB, right? So now it goes one, two, three, but we only see the last item because it writes this one, and then overwrites it, and then overwrites it again, right? So how do we get, you know, how do we get all those items in there? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this outside of the loop. So the loop begins here and it ends right there. So we're going to move that outside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable up here. Let's call it output. And this will be a string. 
Okay, so that's just a plain string there. And it's empty right now, there's no text in it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, you know, output plus equals, this means append or add on to the end of, okay? So, you know, add to, right? And what we'll do is we'll take this string here that we already created and we'll append this string, which includes the li tag, the list, the value, you know, at that index in the list, the closing li tag, and it appends it to everything that's in output. So the first time it adds this, it's going to add, you know, the first item in the array. And then the second time it loops through here, it's going to add the second item in the array as a list item. And then when we're all done with the loop, so after it completes looping X number of times, then we're going to take the entire output and put it into the HTML of list. Okay, so we'll save that. And we'll give this a refresh. Oh, wait, output, oh, because I missed the T there, right, on line 30. Okay, so let's give that a quick look. Oh, you look, line 30. Oh, yeah, the T is missing. So let's save that again. We'll fix it and save it and uh, refresh. Oh, wait, output is still not defined on line 33. Let's go check that. You know why? Because I copied and pasted it, right? But, hey, that those console messages really help. Oh, there's line 33, and there's an output that's missing a T. So let's save that. And then we'll refresh again. And then you can see it says, you know, eat apples, and we got the first item in the array. But if I add another one, like I say foo bar, and now it shows both items, eat apples and foo bar, right? And then what if I type in, you know, hello world, and now it's got three items, right? And what if we do another one? What if we do um, um, fun with JavaScript? There we go. Right, so I hope that's helpful, and I hope you guys um, can make use of that. And I'm going to make use of this kind of arrangement in the parse tutorial. So, you know, if you can figure this out here, then in when we do it with parse, it'll be a lot easier, right? So I, thanks for watching, and I hope that's helpful to someone.